I'll get to that in a sec. Just want to clean up this game. Yeah. My two cents, I think a stock down is the most pragmatic way. Maybe market socialism after that. Then the far future when AI is more developed, we may enter a stateless money society. No, AI bros in chat. I don't think AI actually has any role to play in in uh, in that. Uh, but uh, I think social democracy, social democracy as a platform is very effective right now uh, because we don't have a social democracy in the United States. In uh, countries where they do have a social democracy, social democracy is actually not the most effective platform, it's, nor is it the most pragmatic. Market socialism would be the next logical step. We need to go straight to that. We've already, uh, maybe not entirely in the United States, but the, the skeleton of a social democracy is already there. It wouldn't take that long to fill it out if there's the demand for it, uh, uh, electorally speaking. And then I think ultimately the time for social democracy has sort of not come and gone, but like it's been realized already. The, the strongest possible argument for social democracy um, would have existed before social democracy was really a thing. Chomsky literally said unwanted work may be done by AI. No, not like... I. You know, I have uh, conflicted thoughts about uh, Chomsky. But, like, AI is a, is a certain kind of thing that relies on, like, generative uh, learning and whatever. It's a black box. And I don't think there's any place for a black box like that because it has whatever biases you feed it, right? If we're talking about just automation as a concept, then I agree that automation is a good thing if the economy is controlled by workers. But ultimately... You cannot have a uh, pro AI or pro automation views yet, not at, like as a blanket thing, um, unless you have as a necessary prerequisite that workers control the economy. Because we've seen what has AI been used to do? It's been used to replace workers, not like enhance their uh, their standing and and uh, lower the amount of work that you have to do. And that's a product of the uh, owning class, well, owning everything, right? In this respect, I actually think Chomsky is wrong. In addition to well other things uh but yeah no and 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 i think that like socialism is a uh you watch star trek or wally -E? yes i have good movies maybe a hot take i think work is good when you have the autonomy over what you, uh over what value you produce yes i think i think that is a uh uh like it could be a semi-hot take but yes i agree um, yeah, people are not idle creatures. People kind of want to work. It shouldn't be necessary that everybody work in, in a, uh, well-developed society, right? Like, you know, if people don't want to work more than a certain amount, they shouldn't have to. But I do think that, like, ultimately, people kind of want to work. Because the people, not, not in the sense of, like, doing laborious shit, but, uh, people don't want to be idle. You know, that's, that's not how people are. You know, although obviously don't, don't, don't mistake that as, as me, like we may never enter a post-work society. Definitely not in our lifetime. There's no point in us thinking about that because it's definitely not going to happen in our lifetime. And I don't think we would even want to enter a post-work society because again, people are not idle creatures. Even if the work we're like doing is sometimes laborious, people kind of want to do stuff, right? You know, people don't want to have absolutely no work at all. They want to be able to do things that make them feel fulfilled. They want they want to be able to do stuff in a way that doesn't make them feel alienated, right? Because work can suck, but if it sucks for in 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 the right way for like a, a somewhat limited amount of time, then actually it can it can be a good time. You know, because you're like ah, I generated some sweat on my brow. I put in the elbow grease and whatever. Um, it's just insanely isolating and draconian and, and like, well, Hitlerite shit that we've decided, okay, you have to work, otherwise you will not get food or shelter. Like, you, you work or die, basically, is the current status quo, and that's fucked up. Uh... It's kind of like the myth of meritocracy, right? Because meritocracy just recreates the the inequality, like the, the myth of meritocracy that like, oh, everybody is like, 
hierarchy is justified if there are like some people who are more meritorious than others that just justifies the uh, current existing system and if you did that for like one generation then you just you just start to build up generational wealth again you have the same shit over and over you know so long as the work is fulfilling or if it can benefit society yes absolutely Are you from STEM background? I don't know why many leftists have uh, this doubt on AI. Look, I'm not from a STEM background. I'm from a uh, humanities background. I have a, a, a degree in anthropology. The reason I hate AI is because it's fundamentally at its core. Uh, it was developed by capital for capital. And it is, it is a, a tool that is fundamentally, it's like anti-human. It's like the ultimate form of uh, internet isolation and alienation you see the kind of things that ai is used for and it's like it's only ever used to sort of create a sloppy substitute for for um for art and stuff like ai art especially is is one of the ways in which ai is just fucked up to its very uh core because it's it's destroyed the living of a lot of artists and uh, it's it like it's devoid of the intentionality and vision and and uh, expression and well art that you would want art to have, right? It's not it's not exactly a coincidence that all the people who are like massive AI bros have a massive overlap with Nazis. There's a reason why Nazis fucking love AI. And that is because it's not actually an artificial intelligence. At that point, you've just created another Thing that has personhood, right? Like, at that point, we're now in the world of the Matrix, right? But you call us AI bros? Yes, I call anybody who likes AI an AI bro. Because fundamentally, it's just the aesthetic of futurism that, that ultimately people can invoke to argue in favor of AI, rather than anything AI has actually been able to do. The AI, like, chat generative prompts that, like, ChatGPT and Google and and uh bing and whatever other uh internet companies have used they're absolute shit i've used them they they don't give you like what you're looking for you know when you use them for a search when you use them for an essay they're shit at writing essays they're shit at doing search prompts they're never going to be all that good at doing that stuff because they they're they're not like sentient or anything they don't actually understand the information that they're being given they're drawing like spurious associations and stuff and that's really the best that they can do and add on to that that like you have dead internet theory and a lot of uh websites and articles are just written by ai it starts to sample from itself it's fundamentally it's just alienating us more and more and more is what ai is doing right Like, I genuinely don't even think AI is useful for research, because it would probably misinterpret the, the prompts that you give it. You realize your talking points are pretty much regressive? Uh, no, actually, they're not. They are uh, Marxist, in fact. All, all the things that I've used to argue against AI is, is that, uh, like, fundamentally, it's just that AI is very alienating, and that's what it has been used for, and there's no reason to believe that it will be used for anything else until, again uh property relations have changed such such that workers control the economy my problem with ai is that is it is a bourgeois tool that is used to denigrate the status of the worker uh and is like pushing us further and further into a late stage capitalist dystopia where you basically have to work at a hedge fund or you can't make a living you know this is going to be a banger youtube segment yes it is I don't know why, and, 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 like, I don't know why it's always, well, actually, I do know why. It, it's not a coincidence that there are never any socialists that argue for the merits of AI, because I think most socialists understand the danger that current, like, AI models pose to the rights of the workers. It's always the sock dems and the liberals. It's always the tech fetishists.
How has AI been bad? Uh, globalize my agenda. Welcome to chat, but I've already explained that like two or three times. AI has only been used to uh, get rid of certain jobs, uh, essential jobs, and do them worse effectively. You know, all this, um, all the things that it's been used for in the in the field of research, in uh, the field of art, um, in the field of search engine optimization and things like that. This has cost people their livelihoods uh, for very little gain. In fact, for no gain, I would argue, because um, a lot of the AI that uh, that that people have been using, uh, the, the AI that companies have been using, have been very sloppy at doing those same jobs. It literally, like, it's not good enough at those jobs to be a replacement, but they want to replace workers anyway because it saves them money. Uh, AI does not make work easier, nor does it make it faster. All it does is add an additional black box. Um, you have to understand the AI. You have to understand the task that you're giving the AI in order to judge whether or not the AI is doing a good enough job. Uh, at that task, you know? Because the AI, like I said, it doesn't understand the information it's being given. It's just, like, it is taking it and drawing spurious relations that a computer is capable of drawing with an added element of, like, random sampling. That's why it has to have so many samples, because it has to, like, um, create, like, a, a, an average or something like that. I'm not an expert on mathematical uh, analysis here. Um... But the point being, like, whatever use you could use AI for right now, the most charitable argument you could make is just that it's not ready. It is not ready, fundamentally. Um, but the the AI bros, the tech bros, don't care, because what they care about is the aesthetic of futurism, rather than what we actually care to achieve, which is the furtherment of the position of the workers. And, of course, the uh, CEOs and uh, executives and such don't care either, because their objective is not to advance the position of the worker, but to advance their own class interests at the expense of the worker, which is what AI is actually really good for. AI is good for making society worse, but it hasn't done a whole lot to make society better. Think about all these uh, predictive uh, criminological models uh, that police departments use that just lead to them ultimately uh, incarcerating more black people that haven't done anything wrong. I wouldn't say that's a terribly big improvement to society. Yeah, it isn't in real intelligence. It's a probability thing that a human, again, has to verify. Like, in order for an AI to work, there has to be a person standing behind it at all times to verify the things that it's being given and outputting. This is why we promote UBI. Don't fucking insult my intelligence, dude. UBI is good, but not for the reasons of, like, AI and shit. UBI is, is a, a, like is basically the poor man's social democracy. It is the it is like social democracy for people who don't understand what the purpose of social democracy is. Right? UBI is again, it just like AI, it's a sloppy substitute for what we should have instead. Um when the like the real answer is that like we should probably have both. Like anything a UBI does, a comprehensive welfare state would do better, right? Like what is UBI meant to do? Oh, it's meant to sort of patch up the gaps in a capitalist system where they now exist and make it so that the working class isn't absolutely destitute. You know what does that better? Services that are free at the point of service. And strong unions as well. It's just a, it's a poorly thought uh, alternative that doesn't really do much for us. Are you against all automation too? No, not all automation, but the concept of automation has been very dangerous in uh, capitalist economies for the same reasons that the uh, that if you read the Luddites that they said, because currently all of the machinery, all of the tasks that are to be automated and all of the stuff that you would use for that automation are owned by the owning class. The, the, the project of automation, the long going project, has not done anything to advance the station of the workers. It has only been at the behest of capital. Think about all the automation stuff that has happened since the year 1940. I'm not picking that out of a hat. That is when the 40 hour work week was established. We are 10 times more productive now than we were in 1940. Are we working any less? No. The eight hour work week was established as the norm in 1940. Uh, because, like, uh, you know, people didn't want to work into the ground and, you know, unions had their demands and stuff like that, right? Um, every automation that has come since then has made work an order of magnitude easier. Think about email, the internet, instantaneous communication, 
you know, calculators for a mathematical task. Like, there are a million things that you could name. And what have they done? They've only made our lives, I don't know, slightly more or less like a side grade. We're not doing any less work now as, as like a society in America than we were in the year 1940. And that is because although all those like technological uh, advancements are, uh, you know, have brought benefits, it's because they fundamentally, they weren't for the workers. They were for the capital class. We're also consuming far more than 1940. That is true, but that can be actually explained by those same technological advancements and by the uh, actions of the capital class. Again, part of the reason that people consume so much, yes, it, part of it is because of higher income levels and stuff like that, but an, a large part of it is also because of incentive structures that have developed as a result of the, uh, basically, the technocraticization of capitalism, you know, like the the digitization of capitalism, uh, the moving of everything from like physical stores onto Amazon and stuff like that. There's so much more uh, real estate, uh, physical and digital, for for companies to just advertise nonstop. That the the uh, technology that was originally meant by the people that came up with it to make life better have been used by the capital class to just make our lives more expensive and to make us more isolated, more alone, um, and and basically just make. Our, our entire world that much more atomized. Think about how specific and personalized uh, advertisements are now. You're not getting the same kind of uh, advertisements as the as the next person. And the effect that th these uh, advertisements have on people is it makes them psychologically way more likely to engage in more frivolous acts of consumption. You playing a game streaming on Twitch then ducking on tech is kind of ironical, don't you think? No, not even remotely. Um, because the uh, argument I'm making is not against technological advancement. It's against AI and automation of certain tasks that, that are uh, otherwise laborious. Do I own Twitch? Do I own Twitch.tv? And now you'll say it's a bad faith argument? It is a bad faith argument because you're an AI retard who can't understand the things that I've said five times and you haven't refuted them either makes no sense most people skip ads no i don't mean i don't mean like youtube ads i mean the ads that like uh ad block is designed to block and stuff like that and you know all the pop-ups and stuff that appear on on amazon whenever you visit that site that happens even if you do use an ad block and of course it doesn't help either that uh, a lot of companies are doing the anti-ad block thing now You were using this bourgeoisie technology while shitting on it? That's not a contradiction. What I'm saying is that this the purpose of that technology is to serve the interests of the capital class, and that's what it's currently doing. And I don't like that it's doing that. This is literally just the, hmm, you have critiques of society, and yet you participate in society. Like, get out of here. You didn't say anything on my BME researcher point? Yeah, I did. I said that AI is a black box, that, you know, fundamentally, the, the only thing it's going to do is make it, there be, like, an additional proxy between the person and the research. The, like, AI can't do research. <laughs> it doesn't understand the prompt it's given. Twitch does not re uh, replace workers, Lamau, it creates new ones. Yes, because Twitch is a company. It's it's like a fucking, it's just another venue for the capital class to own everything. You think I own my own Twitch stream? Half the fucking money I would get from the stream if it made any money is going to Jeff Bezos, is going to like Amazon. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't call, I wouldn't exactly call that a pro worker like advancement of technology and, and like use of, uh, I don't know. Automation, digitizations, shit like that. Production crews, cam cameramen, new media replacing all those. Yes, that is true. That is true. How long have I been streaming? 
two hours, four minutes. This might be my last one. Ugh. God, I fucking hate AI. And I fucking hate the people that advocate for it, too, because they're so, like, especially, like, when you have to argue with them, right? Look, it's easy to dismiss Nazis that are pro-AI, right? They're Nazis. We all know why they love AI. It's because they hate art and they hate, uh, I don't know, the Jews and shit, and AI gives them an outlet for that, you know? But, like, people who are nominally on the left who advocate for AI, it's like their entire class politics just break down the moment you mention that, like, no, actually, the Luddites were right. Automation and AI can be very dangerous and shouldn't be something that you just blanket fucking support. Um, because, like, it's, it's just another thing that the bourgeois owns that's going to use to consume more and more of the share of things in society. And that's exactly what AI has been used for. To date, I haven't seen a single thing that AI has been used to do that is positive for society. I would I would ask anybody to show me an example of something that AI has done that has brought benefit to society. Automation as a broader concept, I can actually list things that automation has done that has ostensibly made life better. AI, I actually can't. And I have similar critiques of both AI and automation. Because again, like... No property relations are really being changed there. Copilot's great cites everything that it's saying. I don't know what Copilot is actually. Is that like ChatGPT? Also, did you check the source of of uh, of what that AI said? If if like if you entered a prompt and it gave you something, how can I refuse? All right, that's it. I'm banning you. Or rather, I'm timing you out. I'm not that mean. Copy oh yeah, that's right. That's the Microsoft AI thing. Yeah, I literally copy paste articles. Yeah, and so in that case, the AI was like you would still have to check the thing that the AI gave you to see if it's, like, correct at all. It can give info on people, uh, too. That's kind of... I mean, that's sus for different reasons. Also... Like Yagami's cat mentioned medical research, I would be extremely suspect of any medical research that incorporated AI. It's such a fucking sensitive field that you would have to have any medical research that would that could be done by, by AI. You have to have like two dozen like medical researchers to corroborate anything that AI the AI produces. At which point the AI becomes irrelevant as a tool of research because you would rather just have the people doing it anyway to make sure that it's correct right like i said ai is a black box you can't just put something in get something out and be like all right that's it you have to understand what's inside the black box so you have to have a person there thereby rendering the ai fucking moot i asked my name and I, it told me the competitions i won back in high school that's kind of creepy to be honest the product of the surveillance state most likely God, I was really hoping to have a more productive conversation on my stream. Uh, yeah. Look, from now on, I'm going to make it a policy that whenever somebody mentions AI in a positive light, I'm just muting you for five minutes. AI bros just want AI to pretend to be their anime girlfriends. Yeah, and I would, I would actually, I would be more charitable to them if they just said that. Because although that's weird, fucking whatever, right? Defending AI as a concept is a very different beast entirely. Anyways, I've streamed for two hours. That's about as long as I usually stream. I'm going to go find somebody to raid now. Hmm. Nobody's super interesting. All right, maybe maybe not. Maybe no raid this time. Uh, I'll see you guys next stream. Should be back in a couple of days. Don't ever mention AI again. You'll get an instant mute. <laughs> uh, anybody who's like trying to start some shit with that. All right. Bye.